Okay, um, thank you for the, for the introduction. In general, I'm very happy to be here and to have the opportunity today to represent Linde at Hannover Messe 2019. Uh, my name is, as already said, Patrick Topper. I work for Linde Hydrogen Fuel Tech GmbH and my presentation today is about Linde, Hydro uh, Linde Hydrogen Technologies for scaling up. Um, first of all, I want to start with, um, with an overview about the presentation. It is divided into three main chapters. The first chapter is hydrogen mobility at Linde in general. The second chapter is Linde hydrogen fueling technologies for large scale applications. I, I will show you in this chapter two um, types of refueling stations. And the third chapter are some large scale reference projects which we have already um, installed worldwide. So let's, uh, let's start with the with the, uh, with, the first, um, with the first slide. Um, may, maybe you have heard about, um, in general, about the merger between um, Linde Group and Praxair. And we, have, uh, we had also a kind of internal merger within Linde to combine both core competencies of gases hydrogen application, the ionic compression and liquid applications, the cryo pump within one company. And the, the, the name of the new company is Linde Hydrogen Fuel Tech GmbH. And the headquarter is located in Vienna, Austria. And in the future, we will be able to provide solutions out of one company. Um, the, the, second, the second slide which, uh, which I want to show you um, is the world map. As you can see, Linda, Linda technology is installed worldwide, um, starting from California across Europe to um, Korea and Japan. We have installed more than 150 refueling stations in 15 countries, and with more than 1 million um, in total refuelings worldwide, Linda has got very proven and reliable solutions from, <clears throat> from beginning from small scale to very large scale applications. Um, the presenter is, uh, yeah, it's working. Um, and w when, we, when we look at, at the topic hydrogen mobility at Linda in general, um, as whole Linda group, then the main, main advantage of the whole group is that we can cover the entire value chain of hydrogen, beginning um, with the production, with steam reforming or electrolysis, then the distribution on site with trailer, um, liquid or gases, or pipeline supply, the storage on site, gases or liquid, then the compression technology from Linda with GH2 um, compression. Uh, comp GH2 compressors, ionic compressors, and um, for LH2 applications, the cryo pump, to the final dispensing into the vehicles. And we can also provide some after sales services like project management and service and maintenance. The next, the next this brings me to the next uh, chapter of the presentation. The second, second block, um, our Linda hydrogen fueling fueling technologies for large scale applications and in this chapter I want to I want to show you two different types of stations so the first uh, the first station is the liquid station it's the cryo pump 3.0 um, the the main advantage of a cryo pump is in general compared with a, with a GH2 station is that for 700 bar refuelings, you need no additional cooling unit. We, we are using the boil off gas of the station to cool the hydrogen down to ensure SAE refueling. Then the, in general, the pump has got a throughput up to 100 kg per hour at 900 bar. Um, it is possible with this technology to refuel cars and for example, 350 bar trucks and buses. And um, the system is very, very compact. As you can see um, on, the, on the screen, 
the container is 33 um, foot long with everything installed inside the container and in, in the middle you can see the 800 kg liquid hydrogen tank. The second type of, of station which I want to show you is a station for gases application. It's a twin ionic compressor station <coughs> by Linde. With our standard setup, um, the station is capable to compress um, 60 kg per hour with both compressors with a suction pressure of 5 bar inlets up to 900 bar. It is also possible to scale this station up with, compressor, with a compressor throughput per compressor of 140 kg per hour. And also the, the footprint of the station is very, very interesting, I think, because it's a 27 uh, foot container land um, with everything installed inside the container. You can see on the, on the right side uh, the high pressure storage. Um, this equals to 24 vessels with 50 liter water volume. Then in the middle, the two compressors and on the left, uh, on the, yeah, the electric compartment. Okay, um, this brings me to the, to the last chapter of the presentation. I will show you some large scale reference projects. I want to start with the first project in Germany at Shell. This is a liquid hydrogen refueling station. Um, with two cryo pumps with a capacity per pump of 100 kg per hour. The operation started back in 2011 and it is the largest FCV fueling station so far. So the capacity of this station is to refuel uh, 1,000 vehicles on a daily basis under the assumption that the vehicle tank has <coughs> 5 kg. The next, the next reference project which I want to show you is a very, very um, nice project when it comes to entire green value chain of hydrogen. It's the project Aberdeen in Scotland. It is um, so far the, the biggest um, bus project in, in the United Kingdom. And it is in operation since uh, 2015. The hydrogen there is uh, uh, produced via electrolysis and compressed with Linda compression technology. And the main users are First Group and Stagecoach, which are both um, bus fleet operators. And currently this, the station is extended to 700 bar application. So this means uh, in the future it will be possible to refill also um, passenger cars in Aberdeen. Uh, the next project um, is also a very, very nice project when it comes to green hydrogen. It's, it's the H2 center in Bolzano in Italy. It was the first refueling station for 700 bar vehicles in Italy. And um, the, the, the hydrogen there comes from an entire green value chain. The hydrogen is um, produced in electrolysis out of electricity from water power. And um, the hydrogen is afterwards compressed with Linda Ionic compressor technology. And currently there are 15 buses refueled on a daily basis and some um, cars from private owners. The next, um, the next project which is currently planned, it's a first um, sketch here. You can see a station designed for 350 bar vehicles. It's a liquid station. You can see in the back the, the two stand tanks with a capacity of nine tons hydrogen um, stored. Then in front of the tanks you can see four times Linda cryo pump technology with each pump with 100 kg per hour capacity. Then we have uh, six dispensers with 350 bar. And with this station technology it is possible to refill 2,400 kg within six hours. This equals to approximately 80 buses under the, assumptions, under the assumption that the bus tank has got 30 kg. And the target users are bus fleet operators or truck fleet operators. And this brings me to a slide where I want to wrap up um, all the projects. Linda in general has installed more than 10 bus HRS so far and more to come. 
with more than 25,000 successful refuelings worldwide, starting in California, across Europe, ending up um, ending in Japan and in Korea. Um, Linda technology for sure is worldwide. And so <laughs> th th this will be my last slide for today. <clears throat> As you maybe heard, have, you have heard already, Linda will also install the first uh, train refueling station. It's a gaser station. Here you can see a kind of block scheme. Linda will deliver the hydrogen by trailer. Then the hydrogen will be compressed with ionic compressor technology and will be stored on site. And this station um, is capable to refill 1.8 tons hydrogen on a daily basis. And this brings me to the end of my presentation. Um, it was a pleasure um, to speak here. Thank you for your attention. I would be happy to join some face-to-face -face discussions with each of you and visit us at our booth in Hall 27, uh, B55. Thank you. Thank you very much, Patrick Topa. Are there any questions from the audience? No? Okay. So um, the last project you mentioned about the train refueling station, could you talk a little bit more about it? When will it be set up or what do you see in so the future? The, um, the detailed engineering is um, already completed and it will be, we will start with the manufacturing process this year in Vienna with the compressor stations. And it will be, it is planned to be um, on Steam or installed next year. 2020. Yep. Okay. So if you want to talk a bit more about the topics uh, he just presented, please go to booth B55. It's right on the other side if you walk straight over. Um, there, thank you very much again, Patrick Topa. Thank you.